So the next recommendation, I read this book earlier this year. It's called There Will Come a Darkness by Katie Rose Poole. Um, it was a Morris Award uh, finalist or winner. That means that um, this is the first time that Katie Rose Poole has published a book. And so she's like best in show for um, this year of like um, first, uh, first time author. Okay, so if you like books like um, Throne of Glass, or um, Children of Blood and Bone, or An Ember in the Ashes, or The Graceling by Kristen Kishore, or even Lee Bardugo's uh, Six of Crows series, this might be a good book for you to, to pick up next. It's a great fantasy. Um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a sequel. Um, may even be coming out next year. I might be making that up. Um, so in this book, for generations, there's these seven prophets and they use visions of the future to predict, um, or to like steer, steer countries and people away from war and to save people and, <coughs> um, to end wars, unite nations, all of that kind of stuff. And then suddenly the seven prophets are gone. So it's been about a hundred years. There's no prophets anymore. And they left one prophecy um, that is like one final secret for telling this age of darkness that's coming. The dark is coming. The night is coming. Winter is coming. Oh, just kidding. Um, so this darkness is coming. And with that, there's also this birth of a new prophet. And this prophet is either going to be the world's salvation or the world's destruction. And we don't know. Um, so with all of this chaos on the horizon, uh, five souls are set on this path to collide and their worlds will all intersect. One is a prince who's been exiled um, from his kingdom. Um, another is a ruthless killer known as the Pale Hand. Um, there's a once faithful leader who is um, torn between his love and his duty, um, a reckless gambler with the power to find anyone or anything, and then a dying girl who's on the verge of giving up. And we don't know which of one of these, all of these people um, could save the world or they could break the world. Which one is the prophet? We're not sure. Um, and how is this world going to be saved? And I think at the heart of this book is the question of, does our, if there's a prophecy controlling our life or controlling our life, do we have control? And what control do we have of what is around us and the daily decisions that we make? Um, it's a really, really good book. It was action packed, um, great fantasy. I loved the world that was created by um, Katie Rose Poole. So I highly recommend this fantasy book if you're looking to um, take, your, take your mind out of our own reality.